והנה מבואה במקום אחר, על פסוק וידעת היום וכולו. Now it's explained in another place, on the verse, and you should know today, uh, and you should place on your heart, כי השם אלוהים אין סוף ואורת כמו בבדי אסור של עולם. That just like in the creation of the world, that first there was darkness and then there was light, and it was evening and it was morning, day one. So too it is in the nefesh and the soul of, and in the heart of man. First the service is in a way. Of that my nefesh desires you shubichinas laila, which is the la concept of the nighttime. Ukamay meraz marazal mi kara ka avid inish adaita de nafshe ka avid. And like our sages said, that when a person first starts, they do it in accordance with their own interests. But in our context, it's adaita de nafshe and in 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 accordance with the nefesh. In, in, in the das of the nefesh, on that level, that's what a person does. And afterwards, a person reaches to the concept of the daytime. That you don't have a day without first having a night. And therefore, that going out of Mitzrayim also, its beginning was in the nighttime. Just like the creation of the world. Now on this concept it says it is the night of guardings. The word shimurim, guardings, also is a language of waiting. Like by Yosef it says that Yaakov waited to see it happen. He, his father guarded the thing. And waited. Because the ultimate pur- purpose of creation of the world, that it was dark in the beginning, is in order that you should have afterwards the revelation of divinity, in order to change the darkness into light. That this is the concept of going out of Mitzrayim. Because also, in this level of the, of the night time, is, is it still a concept of the lower level of unity, which is a certain revelation at, at any rate, and an, a nullification of the, of the existence, that you have a yesh, that's batel, umize, yavu achar kacha giloi, yichudai la. And from this you'll come afterwards to the revelation of the supernal unity, the higher level of unity afterwards in daytime. L'chein nikra ze le'el shimurim hu le'hashem le'el shimurim hu le'hashem mamash. Mamash. Therefore this is called the night of guardings, of, of waiting to Hashem truly, that it's a night of the beginning of revelation it's a waiting for the for the completion begam ki ki to for, to to come to the daytime you're waiting for the day um uh, i wonder if there's some kind of parallel to the pasuk amar shomer as boker begam laila in yeshaya begam ki ay day this half kha khashokhal na hora nim shakh me bkhinas ya shakh khoshakh sisro and also through the concept of flipping darkness into light, the concept of hisafcha, it's drawn from the concept of that he surrounds himself with darkness, to come to a state of light and revelation. Therefore, you don't have a, a daytime without first a nighttime. That the you have first a a simsum and then a giluyor. You have a, a the light just like the concept of Hashem surrounding himself with darkness, in order to reveal afterwards. 
And that's the concept of the beginning. There's darkness. It's this concept of that he's, he spreads out darkness in his hiding. That that's a higher level than light and revelation. That's revealed first. And through below, changing the physical darkness into light. To have that my nefesh desires you in the night time. Through this awakens and draws down the supernal darkness. And it causes a greatening of light above. And this is that it is a night of waiting, of guardings to Hashem truly. So what does it mean that it's a, a night time that goes to Havaya, that's higher than Havaya, that's Nimshach to Havaya, an, or an extra light B'Shem Havaya. Into the name of Havaya, Al Yedei, Dis Hav Chachashocha, through changing the darkness into light, you, so you draw down the darkness that's before the light. L'may L'meshem Havaya, V'kemosh Shekaz, B'makom Ocher B'nyan Ki Yisron, Or Mitoch HaChoshech Tavka, like it's explained in another place concerning the idea of like the greatness of light that comes from the darkness specifically. Vigam Peter Shimurim Lashon Shmira Kipshuto. So that's Shimurim. So we just explained Shimurim is a language of waiting, that we're waiting for the revelation of the light, or it's Shamor uh, to it's it's a sort of a preface to the light. The darkness is as as a preface to the light, as a higher level. But there's also the language of shimurim lashon shmira kipshuto of guarding, meaning guarding in its simple meaning. Because it's in the attributes of the night and darkness. Even though it's a concept of my soul desiring you. But since it's the lower level of unity, that the world still seems to be in existence, because the enclo- of the enclosement of the infinite light may be blessed in the, enclo- in the gradative process and descent of the levels until you reach this physical world and because of this enclosement and descent you need to have this battle and one uh, nation uh, tries to overcome the other nation that you have the a hiding and uh, of the garments of the body and the animalistic soul, Shemin Noga, that comes from the Klippas Noga, Shemal Bi, Shemis Nefesh, that enclothe the soul in it, and that enclothe the Nefesh of the Nafshi Visicha, Ukamo Shemido Shibid Nefesh Elukis, Ahavavira, Kachish Gamkim, Bezelu Mazet Taivasa Olam, and just like you have in the attributes of the divine soul, love and fear of Hashem, so too you have in the other side the desires of this world. In love for physical matters. And that is that in the concept of the night time, you have the ruling and the, the grasping of the external forces to get a nurturance from holiness, God forbid. Since it's still a concept of darkness and only bit layesh, and therefore you need to guard. To, go, to 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 divide the klipos from the kedusha shaloti and agilu yamidos kimli chudo is varich that these attributes should only be the emotions should only be towards Hashem's unity may be blessed. Ach be pesach nekralel shimurim hula havaya, but on pesach it's called the night time of guardings to to Hashem. Laila hamishuma that it's a night time of being of guarding. Ubash 
or it's Laila Hamashum Aruba, Shinim Shachashmira Milamaila. So it's a, a, a nighttime of guarding, and it comes and coming that the, of, of, the, of the divine flow that you draw down the guarding from above, Vahinu Inyan Matza Shmura, and that's the concept of Matza that's guarded. Kihine Inyan Matza, Dibura Masfil Koldodi, Hualderach Shamru Amru Razal. Now it's brought in Maimur Kaldodi that the concept of the matzah is like our sages said that the child does not have a call out mother or father until uh, they taste the taste of wheat, of grain. So there is this, a concept in the strength of the, of the grain that through it the child can recognize their mother and father. <coughs> so too, through the concept of matzah, they recognized his divinity, the concept of his essence and being, that you should know, to know the God of your father, the Eloka of your father, that das, das Eloka is a language of recognizing and feeling uh, the emotion. Uh, and this is that nighttime to nighttime will tell, will say knowledge, will say das, the recognition and a feeling of the divinity. That, that's what Das is composed of, because this knowledge and recognition of Hashem is enclosed in the nighttime. is a concept of darkness and, and small, being small. Just like the child, even though he calls out Father, he doesn't know yet why he's his father. Because he gave birth to him and so forth, he doesn't know that uh, context of the relationship. But he still calls father, and he knows that it's that he's his father to call to him. And he's drawn after him with all his heart. Is this concept of the enclosement of the hidden knowledge? The concept of placing darkness around him, musag, that's higher than the recognized uh, knowledge that's that can be understood. That's drawn and enclosed also in the concept of the night, which is a concept of darkness. But nonetheless, there'll be this recognition to call him father. So the concept of the matzah then guards that you should recognize divinity and be drawn towards that and not other things. So I guess that's the shmirah. So through the matzah we recognize our father. Matzah hu bitl hagova. And so matzah is the nullification of the of the height, the haisnasus and the haughtiness. To push the other side, away, and that's why matzah is also from the language of uh, of uh, a fight, an argument, which is like we say that you fought our battles, like on Hanukkah, to nullify the existence. So matzah then is is a, a guarding from the from the other side, and it's a fight against the other side, a fight against the darkness. They should have uh, recognition only towards Hashem, and we need it because it's still only bit layesh.